hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jahan if you're new um, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder especially if you're new that if you go on my channel I have um, a ton of playlists that you can check out I have messages meant to find you love readings um, I have all of my pick a cards listed under timeless pick a card readings. Um, I have zodiac readings. They're all timeless. I even have more travel and relocation readings that you can check out and so on and so forth. So again, um, go on my channel under playlist for that if you're interested, but I'm going to jump right in. I might as well turn up this meditation music. All right, so... I'm actually uploading um, a video from my other phone as well. It's what's on the horizon for you, who and what is coming your way if you're interested in that. Um, so again, you can check out my channel. So to jump in, in this particular reading, we're going to be taking a look at where you're going to relocate or travel to next. Again, relocate or travel. Um, so I have four options to pick from. Um, also, all of the cards I'm using in today's video I made myself so if you're interested in making your very own deck I just saw one on one um, if you're interested in making your very own deck um, I made a video showing you guys how I did it and it's linked below so uh, we have four options today pick an option using your intuition you can pick more than one if you feel drawn um, but if your intuition is telling you to go with only one just do that okay so for option number one we have lavender For option number two, we have Jasmine Blossom. Um, for option number three, we have Cinnamon Patchouli. Patchouli. What? Also, if you hear meows, that's my kitten. She's fine. She has food. She's well fed. She has water. Um, but like when you take your attention off of her, like sh that doesn't sit well with her in her little kitty world. So please bear with us. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have some Dragon's Blood. Ooh la la. All right. So that's going to be option one, two, three, and four. Timestamps will be pinned down below. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys enjoy your reading. What's wrong? Why her cry? Why her cry? Meow. <clears throat> Meow to you too. Okay, so if you're a Johnson this Lavender, we're going to take a look at where you're going to travel or possibly relocate to next. Um, and then we're going to see, you know, what else comes up for you. So let me clear the energy. All right, I'm going to put these to the side. We're going to take a look at these to end the reading. First, let's take a look at... Um, where are you potentially going to travel to next? So first, I'm going to use this card. This is like locations in the United States. So for those of you who are traveling or relocating to the United States, let's see where you're going to travel or relocate to next. Oh, that came out. So Virginia, first card, Virginia. Um, or any of the bordering states like Maryland, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, or even Washington, D.C. for some of you guys. Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming, South Dakota, Idaho for some. Let's get two more. for where you will travel or potentially relocate next. Where in the world will you potentially travel or relocate next?
Tennessee, that confirms this. So again, Tennessee, anywhere in the southeastern part of the country, um, or any of the bordering locations like Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, or even Missouri. Overall, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, again, confirmation. Let's get one more for where you will travel or potentially relocate next. Where will you travel or relocate to next? Here. Here. Look. Give her a little distraction. Oh, you got two came out. So for some of you guys, you may end up going to the Sunflower State, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Nebraska, Colorado, Indiana, or any of the bordering states like Kentucky, Illinois, Ohio, or Michigan. And overall... Ooh, the West Coast, anywhere on the West Coast, specifically maybe California, Oregon, Nevada, or even Arizona. So nice. All right, let's take a look at what else comes out. Maybe why, what's gonna happen. We have misery, distress, calamity, deception, ruin, adversity, sudden change, chaos, revelation, and awakening, 999 and 000. Some of you guys, I feel as though you're going to end up moving or potentially relocating um, because of some sort of tower moment that happens in your life. And I feel as though this move or relocation or travel is going to be like a reset for you. You may end up going through a lot of chaos. Um, maybe some sort of deception you may face. It may be miserable. I am not going to lie to you. Like, I couldn't even lie if I wanted to. It's like you can see it yourself, right? Focus. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of stress, calamity, ruin, adversity. But this is going to lead to some sort of uh, sudden change that may be chaotic. But it's going to lead to some sort of revelation and awakening. And you moving and traveling um, will lead to a, some sort of profound shift. And it may even happen unexpectedly, but it's part of your destiny. It's some sort of unavoidable life-changing events with this 555 may happen that's going to propel you or force you to move. Oh, wait, I forgot the international moving too. Hold on, let me, let me do that first. My bad. <laughs> so internationally, let's see where you could potentially go for confirmations some of you guys you may end up traveling or relocating to any large metropolitan city some examples are seattle toronto new york los angeles rio de janeiro chicago atlanta moscow manila london mumbai or shanghai possibly some of you guys you may end up moving anywhere in the united states specifically in the southwestern part of the country so like New Mexico, Texas, California, Colorado, or even Nevada. Turkey, some of you guys, you may end up traveling or moving to Turkey or anywhere in Asia or Europe in general. Um, if it's not Turkey specifically, you could be going to any of the bordering countries like Bulgaria, Greece, Georgia, Armenia, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Syria, I can't, I forgot what, I can't see what I wrote. That's sad. I can't even see my own handwriting. But yeah, somewhere in Asia and Europe, some of you guys, this confirms Asia. You may end up traveling or moving to Japan or any of the bordering countries like Korea, Russia, or China. Let's get one more. And then United States came out. So again, the West Coast, the Bay Area, California, Oregon, and Washington. Japan again. All right, so like I was saying, you're going to end up having to move or travel to kind of reset after a period of chaos, after a period of a lot of sudden change. But I feel as though this is going to trigger some sort of major awakening within you. 
some of you guys, this is going to be travel. So like I said, if it's not relocation for some of you guys, it could definitely be just a trip. But this trip's adventure fun. I feel as though you're going to be taking plenty of pictures and videos. You're going to be making a ton of memories with 444. Some of you guys, you're going to be going to places that have amazing scenic views. I see you out and about. Possibly by a shoreline, the Bay Area. That confirms this, right? Bay Area coming out twice. Bay Area. You're going to be at the beach, pool, boating, doing some fishing, swimming, and water sport activities. And with Pressure Cooks Diamonds, I feel as though um, for those of you who are moving or traveling after a period of chaos and um, sudden change after the tower moment, just know that Pressure Cooks Diamonds, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger type shit with this 555. You have all the inner strength and willpower. Um, like it literally says, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Some of you guys, being under pressure will give you a chance to demonstrate your potential. So no matter what happens, just know that you are okay. Everything will work out just fine in the end. What? You want to say hi? Come on. She wants to say hi. <laughs> say hello, people. Say hi. If you can see her face. Say hi. She's just a baby. Okay. Okay. I'm almost done. But yeah, this is what I'm picking up for you if you were drawn to the option lavender. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you guys will see me in your next reading, Infinite Abundance. So if you were drawn to this jasmine blossom, let's take a look at where you're potentially going to travel or even move to. So first, we're going to get some locations in the United States. Or travel or relocate to. Here, clear this. Oh wait, let me clear the energy. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. My apologies. Some of you guys are going to end up traveling or even moving to Texas or any of the bordering states like New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, or even Louisiana. Some of you could be Massachusetts or any of the bordering states like Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, or even New York City. New York State. Alaska. I've always wanted to go. Oh my God. Some of you guys could be traveling or even relocating to Alaska or Vermont or any of the bordering locations like Canada, New York, Massachusetts, or New Hampshire. Confirmation. Let's get one more. Here. Because if I don't distract her, she'll like try to attack the tripod and we don't want that. And then uh, we have Washington State. So some of you guys, you may end up traveling or even relocating to anywhere in Washington State, the Evergreen State, or any of the bordering locations like British Columbia, Canada, Idaho, um, Oregon, or just anywhere in the Pacific Northwest. And then overall energy, um, some of you guys, you could be going to Iowa or any of the bordering locations like South Dakota, Wisconsin, Missouri, Nebraska, Minnesota, or even Illinois. They're saying one more, so I'll do one more. Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming, South Dakota, Idaho. Confirmation. All right, let's get some international locations possibly for where you're going to end up traveling to or even relocating. Canada almost came out. So United States, so specifically somewhere or anywhere on the East Coast, a lot of you guys are going to end up double confirmation traveling or relocating to 
New York specifically, any of the five boroughs, Bronx, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Staten Island, or Queens, or any large metropolitan city. Some of you guys, you may end up traveling or relocating to the UK with this England, United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, possibly. Let's get more. Wow, you got a lot. Spain. Some of you guys, you may end up traveling or even relocating to Spain or any of the bordering countries like Portugal, France, Andorra, Morocco. I included that because it's part of the Spanish coastal enclave. Um, it also maritime borders Algeria and Italy. Also Mexico. Some of you guys, you're going to end up traveling or living close to the ancient ruins like Kukulkan. I was actually watching a documentary on this place um, a few months ago. It's just crazy. They had like, oh, you, you scared me. Oh my God. You, never, my boyfriend just walked in and scared the hell out of me. But I, I was just watching a documentary on this and like they had people like sacrificed and buried under the temple. Crazy. But yeah, some of you guys, you may end up moving or traveling to Mexico. And when I looked up, I saw 555. Also, some of you guys, that's double confirmation. You may end up going to France or anywhere in Western Europe. Um, it borders Andorra, Belgium, Luxembourg, and even Germany for some of you guys. And then last but not least, Japan. Or any of the bordering countries like Korea, Russia, or China. Okay, let's see what else comes out for maybe why and what will happen. You have friends. Some of you guys, I feel as though you're going to end up moving with friends or traveling with friends. We have colleagues, family, co-worker, acquaintances, people you know, friends, community, people around you. Maybe some of you guys could be traveling to go visit someone you know. Maybe you're going to be traveling or relocating with people around you. Something about friends is coming up or friends, colleagues, family, co-workers is going to be significant to your travel, your trip, or your relocation. Koi fish are a symbol of prosperity and good fortune. So I don't know if you guys know this, but koi fish are really expensive. They can go upwards of like $100,000 to even $1 million. So for a lot of you guys, I feel as though um, you're going to get some sort of money. You're going to come into some sort of large sum of money that will enable you to either travel or to relocate. Um, it says koi fish are a symbol of prosperity prosperity and good fortune and the advice is to be patient go with the flow and navigate difficult situations with grace common sense and wisdom just as koi fish navigate dangerous waters again they're expensive so your value is about to go up 888 maybe with the number eight the month of august could be significant or relevant maybe that's when your travel or move it's a timeless reading so august from whenever you see this i am recording this in august so something about august um, and then last but not least, some of you guys with this rest and relaxation, R&R, &R, maybe you're traveling or relocating to get a break from where you're, you're currently at. Maybe you need a break. You're going through some sort of resting period. So I feel as though you're going to be able to rest um, when you travel or when you relocate to this new place because you're going to be acquiring more money or you're going to be making more money so that you don't have to work anymore or work not as much. I just, I'm hearing money will come to you easily. And this will allow you to travel or relocate. So if you were drawn to the Jasmine Boss, and this is what I'm picking up for you guys, I hope you enjoyed Infinite Abundance as always, and you'll see me in your next reading. You scared me. Oh my god, I didn't, sorry, I didn't hear you walk in. I'm not done yet, though. It's okay. I still have two more. Alright. Okay. No, thank you. I, just, okay. I already ate. I'm still recording. <laughs> I already ate though. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you can make some for me. Maybe when I'm done, I'll eat some. Okay. If you were drawn to this cinnamon patchouli, let's see. Where you're going to travel or relocate to next. So first, we're going to see um, possibly where you're going to travel or relocate to. We'll save this for the ending. In the U.S., let's see. Wyoming almost came out. So let's see where you will travel or even relocate to. Okay, so you have Minnesota or any of the bordering states like Wisconsin, Canada, South or North Dakota, or even Iowa. Some of you guys are going to end up traveling or relocating to Oklahoma or any of the bordering states like Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, New Mexico, Texas, or Colorado. 
overall energy. Delaware for some of you, it borders New Jersey. So maybe some of you guys are gonna end up moving to Jersey or traveling to Jersey. Anywhere on the East Coast, let's get one more. New York, what did I say? Anywhere on the East Coast that New York came out or any of the bordering states like Pennsylvania. Fun fact, I'm actually from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So shout out to Pittsburgh, 412, gang gang. Um, so Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Vermont, Connecticut, or even Massachusetts. And then overall energy, Maine. Some of you guys are gonna end up um, moving to Maine uh, or any of the bordering locations like New Hampshire, Canada, or even Quebec or New Brunswick in Canada. Overall, you have Florida. Some of you guys may end up moving or traveling to Florida or anywhere in the southeastern part of the country or any of its bordering states like Alabama, Georgia, or even the Bahamas or Cuba. So that segues us into the international locations for where you might potentially travel or relocate to. Let's get more. Tahiti. Woo! Some of you guys are going to Tahiti, French Polynesia, or any other tropical island. You're going to be by the shoreline, the ocean side. Dope. Some of you guys are going to end up traveling or even relocating to the UK, England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. Some of you guys, Portugal is coming up. Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Kabati, Marshall Islands, Papua Tonga, Samoa. So down under, some of you guys are going to end up traveling or moving to. And then you also have Mexico or any of the uh, bordering states like California, Arizona, New Mexico, or even Texas. And uh, with the United States, some of you guys, anywhere in the Southwest, like New Mexico, Utah, Texas, California, Nevada, and Colorado. So double confirmation. Let's see why, maybe what will happen. DNA, family, tribe, bloodline, lineage, ancestry, ethnicity, genealogy, clan, family tree, roots. Some of you guys I'm picking up, you're going to end up traveling or relocating to be closer to your family, your ancestors. Even if you don't have family in these specific places or wherever it is that you're traveling or moving to something about your ancestry it's part of your roots so remember i told you i'm from pennsylvania for ex random example let's say you know i'm from pennsylvania for example so i'll end up traveling or moving back to pennsylvania because that's where the, my mother's side of the family is from you know just a random example to paint the picture for you some of you guys you're moving or traveling to a place um that is connected to your lineage your dna your ancestry Oh, nice. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Reassurance. No need to worry. Everything will be fine. Something that makes you happy and good energy. This trip or this relocation is going to make you very, very happy. Whenever it is that, wherever it is that you end up, you're going to be very happy. It's going to be a lot of good energy. And love. Some of you guys, you're going to end up moving or traveling because of love. Maybe because you've met someone, for, especially for those of you who are in long distance relationships, or you're going to connect with someone at a distance and you're going to end up moving to be with them. With this struck by Cupid's arrow, intense family romance, falling in love, affection, deep love. And whoever this person is that you're moving to be with is going to be a mag magnetic attraction. 11, 11, and 222. What? I'm sorry if you can hear the kitten. She wants attention but anyways this is what i'm picking up for you guys i hope you enjoyed if you were drawn to this cinnamon patchouli infinite abundance as always you guys will see me in your next reading bye okay last but not least if you were drawn to this dragon's blood ooh, let's take a look at where you're going to travel or relocate to next let's clear the energy That was kind of weak. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> if this bowl could talk, it'll be like, girl, I'm tired of you. You keep hitting me and hitting me, hitting me twice in a row sometimes. I'm done. But anyways, let's take a look at where you're going to travel or relocate to next. So if you're traveling in the United States, let's see. Get some messages from here. For where you will travel or relocate to next. First card is Rhode Island. 
So some of you guys are going to end up traveling or relocating to Rhode Island or anywhere on the northeastern part of the United States. Um, if it's not specifically Rhode Island, it could be any of the bordering states like Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, or even Long Island. Some of you guys, this could be Maryland, so anywhere in the DMV area or any of the bordering states like Pennsylvania, Delaware, Virginia, or even West Virginia. So shout out to Maryland. Where will you travel or relocate to next? Per perfect, we got our two cards. Some of you, New Jersey. So I'm picking up on strong East Coast energy for this pile. You guys are definitely going to move or travel somewhere on the East Coast. New York, Delaware, Long Island, co double confirmation, right? Long Island. And then um, Pennsylvania. Fun fact, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where I was born. Um, also, you have Massachusetts or any of the bordering locations like Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, or New York. So again, a lot of East Coast energy coming up. And then, ooh, some of you guys, you may end up traveling or moving down south with Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Louisiana, and Arkansas. I believe my mother's father is actually originally from Mississippi. Shout out to Mississippi. I'm saying one more, so I'll do one more. Colorado. Some of you guys are moving uh, into the west in the Rocky Mountains. Um, it's just four corners, so maybe some of you guys may be traveling or moving to four corners. Look, little camping tent. Some of you guys, maybe you're traveling on a, to go on a camping trip to the mountains, or you're traveling or moving anywhere uh, that borders Colorado, like Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Utah, or even Arizona. All right, let's get some international options for where you might travel or relocate to next. Anywhere on the West Coast, California, some of you guys, like I said, you're going on a camping trip. Maybe you're going to Yosemite National Park. But I feel as though wherever it is that you're going to travel or even relocate to, you're going to be close by nature, the forest. You're going to be going somewhere where people camp a lot that has scenic views and really cool rock formations. Hawaii, dope. Some of you guys are going to Hawaii, either you're traveling or relocating to Hawaii or any other tropical island, warm or tropical place that has a Bay Area shoreline. You're going to be by the seaside. I randomly heard Coney Island in New York came out. So some of you guys are going to end up moving or traveling to New York or any other large metropolitan city. And so for some of you guys, you're going to end up going to the UK, England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany. Some of you guys, you may end up going to any of the bordering locations like Portugal, Spain, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, or even Iceland. Interesting. And then overall energy, it goes back to, um, oh wait, let's come out. I'll do one more. Um, Maine, Delaware, DC, New Hampshire, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. So the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey. Let me do one more. Different, different possibilities, different options. And then last but not least, you have Cuba. Some of you guys, you could be traveling or even relocating to Cuba or any of the bordering locations like the Bahamas, Haiti, Honduras, Jamaica, Mexico, um, Puerto Rico, the Cayman Islands, or if it's in the United States, Arizona, New Mexico, um, Florida, or even uh, I think that's Catalina Island. And then Thailand. So some of you guys, you're gonna be traveling or moving to Thailand. All right, let's see why, what will happen, what, have, what else comes up. Focus on the good. Be optimistic. Look on the bright side. Be hopeful and confident about the future. Count your blessings. Practice positive self-talk and affirmations and keep a gratitude journal. Um, some of you guys, with this focus on the good, this trip or relocation is going to manifest 
from you focusing on the positive in your life as opposed to focusing on what doesn't work, wasn't ha- what hasn't happened in your favor, whatever. I just feel as though you're going to manifest this trip through positivity using affirmations. Maybe some of you guys, if you already have a vision board, if you have some of these locations on your vision board, it's going to end up manifesting for you or a need for you to create a vision board to help you manifest. I need for you to count your blessings and like keep a gratitude journal. Being grateful is what's going to help you uh, manifest this travel or relocation if that's what you truly want. I feel as though this travel or relocation will really help you focus on yourself with this focusing on myself. It'll help you heal from a broken heart, any pain, disappointments, delays, trauma, illness, abuse, or codependency that you may have faced or experienced. 444 is a gentle reminder that you're manifesting this trip and that you're healing. And then with this love for self, person, or thing, deep affection and love, infatuation, emotional connection, and hit over heels in love. Some of you guys, I feel as though you're traveling to be with someone you love. Um, it could be family members that you love, or maybe some of you guys, you're going to end up meeting someone who lives in a place like this, and you're going to end up moving or traveling to be with this person. Some of you also feel as though if you're married or already, or in, if you're already in a relationship, you're going to be traveling or relocating with your significant other to any of these locations. But I feel as though whoever it is that you're traveling to be with, there's going to be like deep affection. I feel as though you guys are going to be in love and infatuated with each other. But I'm also picking up this trip or relocation is going to manifest at a time in your life where not only are you being positive, but you're focused on your self-love. Because again, you're focusing on yourself and you're loving yourself. So if you haven't already tapped into this energy of self-love and focusing on yourself and healing a need for you to do so because by loving yourself i'm hearing not only will you be able to manifest this travel or relocation but so much more whatever it is that your heart's desire so again focus on the good all right so this is what i'm picking up for you guys if you were drawn to dragon's blood i hope you guys enjoyed i'm wishing you all the very best infinite abundance as always and you guys will see me in your next reading bye